Hi everyone, welcome to the screencast on virtual host with WSO2 API Manager 400. This is a new feature introduced with WSO2 API Manager 400 release. Today we will discuss what this feature brings to the API management capabilities of WSO2 API Manager. I am Renuka Fernando, a software engineer from WSO2. Virtual host feature in WSO2 API Manager 400 let you expose your APIs with a custom domain. Virtual hosts are defined under a gateway environment and you can use the configuration file to configure vhost. Or you can use the admin portal to configure a new gateway environment and virtual host of that gateway environment. When an API publisher deploys an API to a gateway environment, he can select the vhost from the list of available vhost for that gateway the API should be deployed to. The access URL of the API that API consumers see through the dev portal is the virtual host of that API. This is an example of configuration in the deployment toml. Within the gateway environment configuration, we define our access URLs and this become our first virtual host. It is the highlighted section in the image. As depicted in the second highlighted section, we can use the configuration apim.gateway.environment.virtualhost under a gateway environment to define other virtual host of gateway environment. I have a simple demonstration of using virtual host with two gateway environments. I have created six APIs and I have two API manager instances named US region and SG region. US region is deployed as an all in one instance and SG region as a gateway worker. I have configured virtual host for US region in the deployment toml as I shown in the previous sample configuration. We can also define the second gateway environment in the deployment toml, but for the demonstration I am going to use admin portal to configure vhost for SG region. Let's say we want to group PisaCheck API and Top News APIs and expose them using virtual host us.wso2.com and pet store and pet foods using pets.com. In the second gateway environment, let's deploy weather and hotel APIs with virtual host hg.wso2.com. I have configured host entries in my local etc host with this virtual host to the loopback address. Let's first add the second gateway environment sg region and virtual host using admin portal. You can see the gateway environment us region is in read only mode since we configured it using deployment toml. If we add an environment using UI, we can edit, delete it later. Let's set the environment. I will give the name as SG region since I have given the gateway label as SG region. From the advanced settings, I move setting port by 1. Now let's go to the publisher and deploy APIs. Here is the APIs that we have to deploy with vhost. Pisa Shack and Top News APIs should be deployed to US region gateway environment with virtual host us.wso2.com. Now let's go to the deployment tab. Under API Gateway, select US Region and Virtual Host us.wso2.com. Now we can see under Gateway Access URLs, the selected virtual host is appeared. Let's do the same for the Top News API. Go to Deployments, 
select API Gateway and vHost and deploy a new version of the API. Now let's deploy the APIs pet store and pet foods that should be deployed to the same gateway and with vhost pets.com select the swagger pet store api in deployments select us region gateway and virtual host pets.com the gateway access url of the api under us region is now appears as pets.com Okay, let's do the same for Pet Foods API. Next two APIs, Weather and Hotels, should be deployed to the API Gateway SG region and with the virtual host sg.wso2.com. Now let's go to the deployment section of Weather API. Since we have configured only one vhost, the vhost selection is disabled. We can see now API revision is deployed to SG region with virtual host sg.wso2.com. Let's do the same for the API hotels. We can also notice the API revision are deployed in gateway environment by looking carbon logs of API instances. Now let's publish these APIs so that application developers can subscribe try out APIs in their portal of API manager. We can see all the six APIs are now in the dev portal. Hotels API we deployed it in SG region with virtual host sg.wso2.com. The host of access URL of the API is the same as virtual host and the port 8244 indicates the second gateway we deployed. So if we invoke the API, it goes to the second gateway. Let's subscribe the API and try out the API. The request URL is consist with vhost we selected and we received a success response from the API. If we select Pet Foods API, the user sees its access URL consists with the host pets.com. Let's try out with the API as well. From this video, we focused on how vhost can be used to expose your APIs to outside. Hope this video is useful and thank you for watching.